Good morning dear children welcome back in today's session we are going to continue our learning process of class 7 geography term 3 unit 3 natural hazards understanding of disaster management in practice part 2 come children let us learn before going into today's session let us have a recap of what we learned in the last one My dears in the last session we discussed about the disaster and hazard and earthquake a hazard is a dangerous phenomenon substance or human activity or it could be a condition that may cause loss of life injury impaired impacts property damage loss of livelihoods services social and economic disruption or environmental changes if it is occurring natural phenomena then it has it is called as a natural hazard and we can classify a natural hazard into two they are geophysical and biological a disaster is a serious disruption in the society causing widespread material economic social or environmental losses which exceed the ability of the affected society to cope using its own resources There are two types of dis disasters natural disaster and man made disaster natural disasters occurring beneath the earth surface could be earthquakes tsunamis volcanic eruptions if it is occurring on the surface of the earth it could be landslides and avalanches if it is a meteorological or hydrological it could be wind storms tornadoes hail storms and floods it could be a health issue source because it may cause an epidemic it is a man made disaster which is caused due to socio or technical reasons like transportation disasters structural collapse and production failures it could be a war which is national or international we also learned about earthquake which is sudden movement or trembling of the earth's crust the movement of tectonic plates mass wasting landslides surface fault all can cause earthquake the effects of strong earthquake could be loss of lives buildings roads bridges and dams are damaged it could cause floods tsunamis landslides fires breakdown of water supply and electrical lines Yes in this session we will discuss about the other natural hazards let us learn about the reason hazards in india and tamil nadu dear children on 2nd to 3rd may in 2018 a high velocity dust storms swept across the parts of north india and more than 125 people died and over 200 were injured In UP that is Uttar Pradesh 43 died in the city of Agra and about 30 died in other parts of the state In neighborhood of Rajasthan state 35 people died and over 200 were injured The wind downed more than 8000 electricity posts and uprooted hundreds of trees Dear children dust storms are a feature of India's seasonal weather patterns the storms occur in the summer month when the weather has been dry to allow dust to be picked up by the passing winds the 2018 dust storms was more damaging and devastating because it struck at night most were asleep and were unable to take precautions the most damage and fatalities were associated with high winds rather than the dust In the neighborhood of Rajasthan state 35 people died and over 200 were injured. The wind downed more than 8000 electricity post. The picture shows the dust storms forming uh, above a building there and you can see the effect of uh, wind blown and you can see uprooted coconut trees. Now children let us come to Tamil Nadu after 2004 tsunami the cyclone gaja is the worst natural disaster to hit Tamil Nadu cyclone gaja was the worst one after tsunami it left a trail of destruction in several coastal districts on and took a toll on agriculture to a serious extent you can see cyclone gaja clipping in the video there you can see how 
strong the wind is the wind is blowing such a strong manner and we can see around 81,000 people were evacuated were changed from their living place and they were staying in somewhere else you can see the landfall trees and high lamps being uprooted there was a disruption in electricity supply. Having learned about Cyclone Gaja, let us learn about another natural disaster, namely Tsunami. T-S-U-N-A-M-I, Tsunami. When earthquake jolts the ocean floor, that is, it, earthquake is occurring on an ocean floor, the sudden dislocation of the seabed occurs, that is, there is a movement of the seabed and the resulting displacement, the movement of the seabed, that there is displacement of water, can produce one or more huge destructive waves known collectively as tsunami. So, when the earthquake is happening on the floor of the ocean, there is dislocation or movement of seabed which results in the movement of water which will produce huge destructive waves called as tsunamis. The sea waves rise to several meters and may reach the coast within few minutes. You will be thinking oh it is happening only in the sea then what is the effect but within a few minutes it will reach the coast. Now, what is the effect of tsunami on the coast? It causes flooding and disrupts transportation, power communication as well as water supply. It causes havoc in the environment. Dear children, the word tsunami is derived from the Japanese word. Su means harbor and nami means waves. It is harbor waves. Now children, let us learn about another natural disaster, flood. What is flood? Yes, there is an overflow of water and the sudden overflow of water in large amount and it is caused due to heavy rainfall or cyclone or melting of snow, tsunami or a dam that is bursting. So you can have flood because of all these reasons. It could be a heavy rainfall, it could be a cyclone or melting snow or tsunami or even the dam which is bursting. And what are the effects? There is loss of life and property, there is displacement of people, spread of contagious diseases such as cholera and malaria. When there is a flood occurring, there will be a waterborne diseases like cholera and malaria spreading. In the picture, you can find the various effects of flood. You can see a flood that is having, that is occurring and you can see how it is covering the residential place drenching the whole place in water people cling on to things which are floating and try to save their lives now let us learn about cyclone what is cyclone it is a low pressure area which is encircled by a high pressure wind a low pressure area which is encircled by a high pressure wind is called as a cyclone now what are the effects of cyclone the main effects of tropical cyclone include heavy rain strong wind large storm surges near landfall and tornadoes you can find some storm surges near the landfall and tornadoes so what is a cyclone it is a low pressure area which is encircled by a high pressure wind and it causes heavy rain, strong wind, large storm surges near the landfall and tornadoes. Dear children, a natural disaster cyclone, Cyclone Gaja, crossed the coast of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry around Vedaranyam and Nagapatanam in the early hours of November 10, 2018 Friday with a wind speed gusting of around 120 km per hour reported the Indian Meteorological Department. So the Gaja storm passed the Vedaranyam and Nagapattinam in the early hours of November 10, 2018 and the wind speed was 120 km per hour. Time to wind up today's session. Before winding up, let us have a recap. Dear children, in this session we discussed about tsunami and flood and cyclone. 
We know that when earthquake jolts the ocean floor, the sudden dislocation of seabed occurs and resulting displacement of water can produce one or more huge destructive waves called as tsunamis. Tsunamis causes flooding and disruption of transportation, power communication and water supply. The word tsunami is derived from Japanese word su means harbor and nami means waves. When there is a sudden overflow of water in large amount, it causes a flood and it could be because of heavy rainfall, cyclone, melting of snow, tsunami or a dust dam burst. The effects of a flood are loss of life and property, displacement of people, spread of contagious diseases. A cyclone occurs when a low pressure area which is encircled by a high pressure wind. The effects include heavy rain, strong wind, large storm surges near the landfall and tornadoes. Dears, in the next session we will discuss about the man-made disasters. Time for worksheet. Worksheet number 2. Distinguish between. First one, earthquake and tsunami earthquake and tsunami flood and cyclone question number two flood and cyclone question number three hazard and disaster hazard and disaster that's all for today's session my dear children thank you for watching please subscribe our channel youtube.com slash guide thank you stay blessed